was wondering, what do you think of the Oloboro Steam page? I really liked the tips from Chris where he said that you uh, should try to make sure that you can see at first glance what kind of game it is. When I look at the screenshots at the moment, they still look a little messy, but I feel like that's something the community has already told you that you're, you've probably yeah. already addressed to a certain extent. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, yeah, sure. When I look at the screenshots now, it, it, it doesn't, I, I don't really see at first glance that it's a, a local multiplayer kind of game. Yeah, so yeah, the players really just are these little black dots uh, in these screenshots <laughs> anyway. They, they really, uh, it doesn't communicate super well. Yeah. So, uh, ah, the so description, okay. Olobolo is an action-packed deathmatch experience, a mix of one-man team football and magic. That is, sounds like a pretty good first sentence. I like that. Okay. Es especially the... One man football and magic, that part I feel like is pretty descriptive. I'm, one, I, I'm kind of wondering, sometimes it can be really useful to kind of use things people already know to communicate these ideas. So I wonder if maybe you should uh, use the fact that people already know football to your advantage and maybe make the ball look a little bit like a football and the goals a little more like traditional goals. I feel like that could help to kind of see at first glance what the, what the game is about. Interesting. I'm, I'm not yeah. sure if it uh, would fit the art style, but maybe something to think about. Something to consider. Sure. Or just having the ball have little maybe black dots in the middle to resemble more of football or something could be something to consider. Yeah, something like that. I feel like uh, completely realistic wouldn't fit your art style, but if you kind of stylize it a little bit so it reminds people of a football that could, could work, in my opinion. That is true. True enough. Mm. Yeah, I think also that the new screenshot, I mean, the the new visuals with the toned down backgrounds and the much more brightly colored characters uh, will communicate or it's a, it's a local multiplayer game. Uh, although we are also working on a single player game, we've been working on that for the last week. A single player oh. mode uh, to, to the game and it's, it's coming along pretty well. Mm -hmm. We have to take a lot of care on this one because we know this will be the the modes that, that most people are going to be playing anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that was one thing I wanted to ask you because it seems kind of risky to me to launch a, a local multiplayer game on Steam. I've seen a lot of pretty yeah. good local multiplayer games that still failed simply due to the fact that they are local multiplayer. Yeah, it's been COVID. So, yeah. yeah. It's, um, so the reason we're doing this really is because it's, it's a lot of fun to create. Super enjoyable creating with, with Liam and then and also it's um, I feel like these are the type of games that although not be played by too many people most of the time uh, online like my family and friends, I feel like this is the first time, or one of the only yeah. times they really engage mm -hmm. with what I make, and that's like super rewarding. Um, with that said, this really should not be a long project. It will take two months. Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> what happens. <laughs> but I think two months is, is really realistic for, for this project. So if we can create two little game, little Steam games this year, that'll be pretty awesome. That's the, the objective. Small, Cool projects.